and like being super analytical means sometimes being a bit reserved and just observing the entire situation, right? So let me give you an example when it comes to, to media buying. Let's say we have, uh, we have, as you said, post-purchase survey set up, 40% tracking, um, and we're spending the same amount of money on every channel. So let's say we're spending the same amount on Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, sorry, uh, Facebook, TikTok, Google, right? And, uh, you know, for some reason, let's say Triple Whale doesn't track 100%, let's say they have a glitch in their, you know, thing, for example, not trying to paint the devil on the wall. Triple Whale, amazing tool. I use it myself uh, for, for everything that I'm running and recommending to everyone. So let's say you are increasing the ad spend on Google, right? And let's say you see growth. And for some reason, again, this book doesn't really attribute, whatever. And you increase the ad spend, you increase the ad spend, you increase the ad spend. And you're seeing growth. In your store, you're seeing more orders, you're seeing more revenues, you're seeing the conversion rate go up, you know? And generally speaking, on, on, on anything that is paid search on Google, the conversion rate tends to be way higher just because it's intent traffic and not pull-based traffic, you know, push versus pull marketing, basically. Um, and of course, like if you can track that, you can make assumptions based on the things that you're seeing and, and based on certain correlations, as you've already said before. I'm raising my ad spend, my revenue is going higher. Well, is my revenue going higher because I'm increasing the ad spend on Google? Or is it because everything is a bit more blended and therefore the retargeting sizes on Facebook and TikTok are increasing? You know, just like something to consider. So this is like probably an example of how I would describe it the best. It's, you know, like sometimes there are things where you can't measure, uh, which is totally fine. But then it's like, you know, what are the things that I look at? Where can I maybe make a correlation, where can I isolate a variable to create a valid split test or valid hypotheses and like make an assumption on if this change has been causing something, yes or no. Simple as that.